All right, everyone. Welcome to another episode of What It Is. Mm -hmm. I'm Kelly McKinney of Hohenheim Productions. And I'm Josh Gibson of Fourth Wall Players. And we are here to discuss, in lieu of the coming election, we figured we'd not talk politics while talking politics and discuss everybody's favorite little musical, Hamilton. Hamilton. That's right. And so I just recently saw it, like, in the past month. Same here. So by the time this is released, though, three months, oh, like yeah, about right. three months ago. When Disney Plus released it, I watched it. Yeah. And so I just know that I, before, okay, like when it very first released, I gave it like two months or whatever, because there were people unfriending people over their what? like of Hamilton. Really? I saw friends posting that they just got unfriended or blocked because they enjoyed Hamilton. That's the craziest thing ever. So but. I just don't, I don't understand the political controversy of it other than that it wasn't, that not everything in it was fact, right? Right, which is every musical, ever musical slash bio documentary ever. Ever, ever. Take a look at Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. <laughs> for, for crying out loud, okay? Um, yeah, so like, Right, that's what it was called, right? Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, the and like the Temptations movie and the Elton John the movie Temptations, and right, yeah, yeah. Selena with Jennifer Lopez. Any of these movies, yeah. And so, overall, I thought it was beautiful. I loved it. I loved how they took something from 1776 or you know a time about uh, 1780s, etc., etc., yeah. and translated it into something. They that modernized it. They completely modernized it, and in a like such a successful way. Mm -hmm. I was also told that it had so many words. There's so much information in yes. there that it's so it, fast. Yes, that if it had been read at a normal space, at a normal speed, it'd have been over eight hours long. Right. That's what I was told. It'd have been over eight hours long. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's amazing. So. It was great, and I, I think watching it with the subtitles. Is, you can pick up a lot more than what you would more. have seen yep. it live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Unless you saw it like three or four times live, which I mean, lucky who has bastards. that kind? Yeah, who yeah, has that lucky kind of money? Bastards. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I thought um, I was really going into it thinking I'd enjoy it as a musical, but would kind of assume I assumed going into it that it was like one of those what's over. I don't want to say overrated, but overhyped. Like, oh, these are just people who don't really know much about musicals and so they're like oh well i love this because it's got the hip-hop thing going or it's musical fans who are just dying for something like in the last 40 years to to like um but i think i, I came out of it and i i i mean i i think it's all uh justified i i really loved it i cried I, three times yeah i and that, that was what i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting a lot of the emotional moments in it and um, Lin Manuel Miranda's acting was so great, like so amazing. Phenomenal. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that either. I mean, not that I don't think he's good, but. And this this was interesting. So you know, I, I had a, I had sort of a career in politics where I worked in politics for political candidates for like six years, and all that time I've always hated Alexander Hamilton in a political sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and this this musical humanized him and made me feel for him and like his character in the musical. Well, um, I know one of the complaints is from that I've heard from people is that they 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 paint him in a heroic light more than they should. Right. Yeah. 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 For um, sure. I think yes, but I I I like it because it shows that. That, that, that celebrities or, or politicians or just just historic figures, they're human too. The, the, none of them are perfect. You know, and right, we're all right. talking about how like you know whatever you the, your opinions on current day celebrities or whatever. How many of them back in the 30s and 40s were abusive drunks and right, they, right, they right, hit right. their wives and, and they abuse their children and and we still watch was, their movies. And it I was mean, socially acceptable. And it was socially acceptable because that's just how it was. And I'm not saying that makes it right no, at but all. I'm just saying. It's a I'm just saying the... There are multiple sides to a person. You're not. You, you know. You're not right. all good or all bad. Yeah, and, I, it sounds to me like it, with the current political climate, it just sounds to me like we. Uh, the to me the. Um, 
the way that the logic is working with how we tear down all of these people from history, we should never build a statue of a person ever again. Right. Because well, yeah. being human, they had some sort of flaw that at some point, like, it's to me, what the amazing thing Hamilton did was give me perspective. Right. Because when you take a look at it, okay, like, there's a lot of things that I, you know, as an, as a, my core American beliefs, mm -hmm. where it's like, oh wow, so Hamilton was from the, Car Car the from the Caribbean. Okay? Yeah, I love pirates. I love everything about pirates. Okay, and so like the golden age of piracy, he already has this immigrant status, which to me makes him more um, likable in the sense that it, it puts in perspective that every American is an immigrant aside of Native Americans, and essentially, at some point in time, so are they. Okay, right, yeah, right? I mean. So, like, I, I just, I love that, um, that he's also a self-made man. He came over here with nothing, okay? Super important to me, super important to me that he came up from nothing and that by the end he was a freaking, you know, what, congressman or whatever. He ain't never gonna be president, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, I, see, like, back when I was, you know, heavy into politics, heavily involved in politics, Aaron Burr was a hero of mine for shooting Alexander Hamilton, the man who rallied and championed the banks, banking system that I blame for a lot of our problems today. So, like, so I, Aaron Burr used to be a hero of mine. So then they had him played by Lamar Odom Jr., which I loved. I mm -hmm. love him. He's amazing. Yeah, I, I should mention that. I mentioned Lynn manuel Miranda earlier. I thought everybody was pitch perfect. Wow, yeah. And yeah. I don't mean like singing, but just like for their roles. Their singing was obviously amazing. But in all their roles, like, I, I was, I, in my mind, like, the two most relatable um, antagonists in, like, in, in musicals sort of that I've seen um, would be like Judas from Jesus Christ Superstar, Superstar. and you know uh, Aaron Burr from Aaron Hamilton, Burr, yeah, and I, I right. felt like those two kind of go hand yeah. in hand because you you saw their strife and you saw their struggle with why you know what led them to the decisions that they made you know and like Aaron Burr wasn't necessarily an antagonist in the beginning but he was pushed to it um, by yeah. well, Hamilton's continued. And I, I, success and, and all that other stuff. I love how they really focused on the personal element of it. Where oh, yeah. when, when it came down to it, all everything, all of the motivations didn't come down to political differences. Right. Honestly, they came down to perceived slights. Perspective. Right. Again, yes. it's perspective. Mm -hmm. Whereas my perspective, you know, ten years ago on Aaron Burr, he's a hero. Yeah. Now I think they're 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 both flawed humans. Right. Like, because Alexander Hamilton, if even if just the very simple facts about his upbringing are true, and that's the only thing that we pull away. From, if I were to pull away from the Hamilton uh, musical, if that was the only thing, that to me makes him a respectable man. Even if even if he had different political differences or thought differently economically than I did, um, mm -hmm. like it still makes him a respectable man. And then uh, Aaron Burr still, um, if even if the the way that it happened in Hamilton was anywhere close to true, then I still feel for him too. Yeah, and he's still a hero for shooting the man who rallied the bank. Right, you know what I mean? Like it's so interesting. And then I, I the the, the only thing that I didn't like about Hamilton was the end where I, I I like it as a storytelling device. I don't like it how they had Hamilton raise his gun up. Because yeah. I, I I think, you know, I I don't know if it's documented it, that way. Well, it's probably a speculation. Because I I think Aaron I think, Burr just beat him to it. Right, well, maybe. Rage, man. Rage well, made him quick. Maybe, Ow. who knows. But it, as far as it goes for the narrative, you're right. Like, the storytelling... It made more sense for that character. Yeah, lifting his yeah. It, it made yeah. more sense for that character to do that in the end. Whether it happened sure. in real life or not is, you know, I'm sure some historian could tell us. Um, yeah, that's why I just prefer to go to the Family Guy version of it. Yeah. And turn. Yeah. <laughs> the slap wars. Yeah. Right. Um. But yeah, so that was that was one of the I not heard the music before. You know, because you hear like. You know Alexander Hamilton. You hear all that stuff all the time. Right. Um, you know the room where it happens. The, the room, room where, where it happens. happens. I love that song. Um, but there were a couple songs in there that I did not 
I had not heard before and I really enjoyed um, like the Ten Dual Commandments. That, that, yeah, I think that, um, was one of my, that was probably my favorite song. And One Last Time was so emotional and um, I guess I had heard that one before, but they, they're not as popularized, you know. Right. Uh, yeah. Or the Skylar Sisters is really popularized, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but like Helpless I thought was a great one. I thought the one, um, I don't remember the name of it offhand, but Angelica, um, when she goes back in time, basically to when Ham when the Skylar sisters first meet Hamilton. Yeah. And that song, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of it. But no, but I, I thought I thought it was, that was I thought it was song. another version of Helpless. It was just helpless. Was but it? she was talking about how she was helpless. She okay. was helpless. That's why she had to give over Hamilton to her sister. Right. She was helpless. That's why she had to do this. I thought it was just another version of Maybe. helpless. Maybe. Yeah. I I don't know. I I thought that was not if only not better. only the song was good, but it was staged. It was. I, I loved fantastically. Well, it was like the thing was is that um, what uh, Hamilton did so well for me is that there were so many parts that made me uncomfortable. Yes. Because of how, like personal it was mm -hmm. it was so cool like that a, a musical can do that when even certain there's so many movies where i like when i think of times when i get uncomfortable like that in mm -hmm. a movie it's it's always because of gore or a shocking right, thing happening right never right because of how never because of the intensity how well i mean i just think about that song for instance mm -hmm. that she sang yeah okay is so vulnerable mm -hmm. like you know, I gave him up. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Seriously, yeah, I, I, I my, literally my, just my, got the chills on my That my hair, yeah. hairs on my arms just stood up because I was thinking about it. It's that good. Wow, wow. So, what did you think about uh, Hamilton? Was it uh, was a hair raising experience for you? And um, will it influence your vote? Leave your comments down below. Yeah. Just remember, he ain't never gonna be president. He's gonna be president now. He's gonna be president now. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. You can hit the bell notification for regular updates every single time we post a new video. And in your meantime, be ready for election. Check out the merch store. As you can see, this one here says, here's my dick pic, hashtag chivalry2020, which is what you'll find it under. And subscribe to the Patreon for more behind the scenes video and a look into everything we do here at Hohenheim Productions. Thanks, bye.